been flying since 1977 as a uh, private pilot. And I have been flying for 16 years now. For 38 years now, since 1978. Since 1993. Five pretty fantastic years. I've been trying to learn to fly for about five years now. 23 years. 12 years. Five years. Just over three years. I've officially been flying since 2010, but since birth kind of too. I needed to do something that I loved in life. You know, it wasn't about the money, it was about doing something that I truly enjoyed. I come from a different country, but when I came to the States, I saw the opportunity and that was my dream, so I went for it. What inspired me to become an Army helicopter pilot was uh, when I was in Afghanistan. I would not have come back if it wasn't for those guys, and so I wanted to be able to pay that forward. When I was a little girl, we were always flying around, and I always went, Higher, higher, lower, lower, faster. Remember my parents taking me to my first air show, Blue Angels Air Show in, in Maine. Immediately I was hooked. I remember being four and seeing a pink P-40 that was flown by a female pilot, and I just fell in love. I was like, I'm gonna do that someday. I think one of the best ways to stay sharp as a pilot is to challenge your skills. I go to different clinics, learning different techniques. I uh, end up watching a lot of online videos that are uh, cut short, three, four, five minutes. I like to look at any of the air safety seminars. Jeppesen has some great webinars out there to look at. Uh, one of the great ones is AOPA, so Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association has done a great job. They provide a great website, a lot of campaigns that allow a pilot to get back into the industry or start in the industry. Your flight instructors, the people that you, you look up to that are flying, those individuals are very vital. Every time I fly, it's like going on a new proficiency check. Every flight should be a learning experience. If you don't fly enough, you are going to get, for lack of a better term, rusty. Be patient uh, and fly as often as you possibly can. Don't stop. Uh, keep pursuing it because it's a long journey. Never stop learning. Never become complacent. Stick with it. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Work hard. Study hard. Um, stay at it. Be passionate. And it's okay to say sometimes you're going to have a bad lesson, you know, but you just want to come back the next day and just keep plugging away and make it happen. Don't worry about currency as much as proficiency. If you're proficient, you'll automatically be current. Every pilot out there, I feel, um, should self-aware to the point that you know they want to create the safest environment that they possibly can not just for themselves but everyone else that's also in the air. Even if it's not as often as you like um, you just have to make time to, to stay sharp because at the end of the day it can save your life.